my name is Jess and happy Halloween! What do you mean it's Halloween? I wear makeup like this every day. So in honour of the day it is today, which is the 31st of October, had you not already guessed, I'm going to be doing a book tag from last year, which is the Creatures of the Night book tag. This tag was originally created by Tastic. So for this tag I have been given 10 Creatures of the Night and I have to tell you my favourite of those creatures in books that I have read. So let's just get started with the first Creature of the Night, which is Vampire and for this I have chosen Adrian Avashkov from the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. Adrian for me is a really guilty pleasure character, he's that kind of snarky guy that you don't really want to like but you end up absolutely loving and especially in this Bloodline series which focuses more on him as a character, I feel like he really comes into his own. Rochelle Mead does a lot of really unique things with the vampires in her world. I think it's partly based off Russian mythology and it's just really really interesting and I love Adrian, I think he's a brilliant character, he makes me laugh every time he's on the page. The next category is werewolves and it's not until I read this that I realised how few werewolf books I've actually read. I first thought was this Teen Wolf a book but I don't really think that counts and then I thought Jacob Black but let's be honest, none of us were ever Team Jacob. So that left me with Maya from the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. She had such a sad backstory and I feel like the way she dealt with it was really admirable. She's very much a side character in this series, she's kind of sidelined by Sizzy a bit, but I still really loved her character. I felt that she brought something special to the series and she is my favourite werewolf because I just haven't read about that many. The next category is zombie and I have literally read no zombie books despite the fact that I'm actually made up as a zombie if you can't well it started out as a zombie but then it sort of came vampire around here anyway I kind of cheated on this one and I picked someone that isn't really classified as a zombie but they have some very zombie-ish traits and that person I picked was Paige from Angelfall. This is a really good series, it's actually a self-published series so it doesn't really get as much attention as I personally feel it deserves. As you can tell from the title, this is a book primarily about angels but it's also the closest I could get to a zombie character and I like Paige so... Uh, the, next category, the next category is ghosts and again I had to cheat slightly for this one because my favourite ghost is actually from another book of Cassandra Clare's but that would be a massive spoiler. So instead I went for a ghost from a recent read of mine which is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell and I picked Lucy from Carry On. Lucy's backstory was so tragic and wonderful and I really wish that we could have found out more about her character because in the sections that we had from her point of view she came across as immensely likeable to me. Lucy is one of the ghosts in Rainbow Rowell's world which, who comes through the veil to try and warn their relatives about things and I like I said I really loved the mystery that shrouded her chapters and she was just a really intriguing character to me. The next category is witch, warlock or spellcaster and who else could I have gone for other than the brightest witch of her age, Hermione Granger. Hermione was such a massive inspiration to me growing up. Like some girls idolise like pop stars or actresses. I idolised Hermione, okay? And so did so many of my friends. J.K. Rowling did something really important I think when she put a brainy, slightly neurotic character into a sidekick role and let's just all just let's just put it out there right now Ron and Harry would have died like a million times over had Hermione not been guarding them so of course she had to be my favourite witch although I will note that Dumbledore was a really close running up because everything that comes out of his mouth is gold the next creature of the night is a fairy or fae and for this one I'm going to have to spoil the Queen of Shadows series by Sarah J Maas so if you have not read Air of Fire or up to the end of Crown of Midnight in this series, I wouldn't listen to the next bit. I will put in the down bar the time when you can skip to when there are no longer any spoilers. But the fairy or fae that I have chosen is Selena Sardothian, uh, aka, oh, this is gonna test my pronunciation, Aelin Galathenius. She's an unbelievable heroine, and I'm holding up Queen of Shadows here, but I think in terms of fairness, um, Air of Fire is probably my favourite because that's when you really get to see Selena slash Aelin, I'm still not sure what to call her, really come into her power and Sarah J Maas has put a really unique twist on the sort of fairy 
characters and I just love Selena I think she's got a great sense of humor and she's also got a really interesting balance of like girliness and I will kill you and of vulnerability and of I will kill you and it just makes her a really fun person to read from the next creature of the night is demon and I actually haven't really read any books where demons have been the sole focus either so for this I really cheated and just went for a book and I went for the infernal devices or more broadly the entire shadow hunter chronicles by Cassandra Clare I love all the demons in this not because they're necessarily nice people because they're not but they just made the series so interesting they gave the shadow hunters a purpose and the series just wouldn't have been as good without demons shadow hunters are based on killing demons like they wouldn't exist if they didn't have demons to kill will herondale wouldn't exist if he didn't have demons to kill therefore i love demons <laughs> the next category is angel and even though i have only read one book in this series and the character didn't really make much of an appearance in it i can already tell that she is probably going to be my favorite character of this entire trilogy should i choose to carry on and that is liraz from daughter of smoke and bone by Lainey taylor did i say her name right you don't get to see much of Liraz, but what you do get to see makes her such an intriguing character. She seems very hardened and closed off, but you can tell that she genuinely cares for Akiva. I really loved the pages with her on because to me she felt like one of the most unpredictable characters because you don't understand her. You don't understand her backstory or her motives. And I really, really look forward to reading on about this character. The next category was Alien, and for this I chose Wanda from The Host by Stephanie Meyer. And if any of you hated Twilight, I will tell you right now, personally I think The Host was a better book by far. I absolutely loved it. This is one of my favourite books of all time, and Wanda is my favourite alien of all time. She's just so good she is such an amazingly nice person and sometimes i found her a really frustrating character to read about because she could just she couldn't say no to anyone she found it really hard to kind of step up and be a lot tougher but that's part of her charm she was just such a lovely wonderful being and the last creature of the night was super powered humans i read about a lot of super powered humans so it was actually really hard to pick for this but in the end i went for one of my favorite characters of all time and i chose percy jack Ooh. percy jackson from the percy jackson and the olympian series by rick ryordan and the reason I love Percy is because he is one of the funniest characters I have ever read about. I open a book and Percy's narrating and I just know that I'm going to be laughing continuously throughout it. Percy is a demigod, he is a son of... I'm not going to tell you because that's a spoiler. But the powers that he has are really cool and I kind of want them myself. I wish I was a demigod and then I could go to Camp Half Blood. Seriously though, I just love this character, I love this series and I had to pick Percy because Percy Jackson is amazing. So there you have it, those were the creatures of the night that I've chosen. Did you agree with any of my choices? Did you disagree with any of my choices? I'd be really interested about any recommendations you could leave in the comments. Now I have to go and scrub up my face for like an hour straight to get off this terrible makeup. So I will see you soon, goodbye.